ਦੇ ਰੂਪ ਵਿੱਚ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਅਸਨਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਕੰਸਲਟੈਂਟ ਇਨ ਕੋਰੀਆ ਰਿਫਰੈਕਟਿਵ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੇਕ ਰਾਈਟ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਟੁਡੇ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਰੈਡ ਆਈਸ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਦ ਵੇਰੀਅਸ ਕਾਜ਼ਸ ਆਫ ਰੈਡ ਆਈਸ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਮੈਨੇਜ ਦਿਸ ਕੰਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਕਾਜ਼ਸ ਰੈਡਨੈਸ ਇਨ ਆਈਸ ਇਨ ਅ ਟਾਈਮਿੰਗ ਨਟ ਵੈਸਲਸ ਇਨ ਆਈਸ ਵਿਚ ਔਨ ਐਨੀ ਇਨਸਰਟ ਕੈਨ ਗੈਟ ਡਾਇਲੇਟਡ ਔਰ ਐਨਲਾਸਟ ਲੀਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਰੈਡਨੈਸ ਇਨ ਆਈਸ there are various causes of uh, redness uh, let us discuss them one by one so i would like to categorize the uh, causes of redness by the allergic causes infective inflammatory injuries and uh, external or environmental factors to begin with uh, allergic causes any exposure to uh, allergen be it dust pollen dust mites uh, fumes smoke dry heat all these can cause allergies in the eye and the most common symptom following this will be red eyes even a simple action of eye rubbing can cause redness in the eye so allergies usually tend to cause itching in the eyes so patients tend to rub their eyes this can cause congestion or redness in the eyes along with various other symptoms of allergies contact lens users because of overuse of contact lens or due to allergies uh, to contact lens also can present with red eyes next coming to the infective causes infections in the eye uh, be it around the eye like lid infections corneal infections congenital infections uh, all these can cause uh, red eyes uh, talking about uh, some conditions of lids blepharitis or dandruff deposits on the lid margins uh, oil gland infections all these can present with the redness conjunctivitis also commonly known as pink eye which can be bacterial or viral conjunctivitis most commonly present with red eyes uh, talking about a little serious conditions like corneal infections or keratitis uh, and corneal ulcers these also present with red eyes but they can cause other symptoms like uh, pain blurred vision and uh, light sensitivity along with redness uh next coming to the inflammatory causes of red eyes any inflammation in the eye be it an autoimmune reaction uh, due to some underlying systemic illnesses can cause uh, red eyes to name a few uh, conditions like epistheritis scleritis or uveitis which is inflammation of the blood vessels and vascular structures inside the eye do present with the red eyes but these conditions can also present with pain blurred vision along with the redness uh next coming mm-hmm. to injuries injuries can be like uh, traumas blood trauma or uh, injury with a cricket ball uh these kind of blood traumas also present with red eyes uh chemical injuries which are kind of a little serious condition these uh, are come under the category of ophthalmic emergencies these do present with red eyes but they need immediate attention like uh, uh chemical injuries can be like uh, exposure to you know uh, it can be domestic or occupational hazards domestic at home in case you have got exposed to some irritants like uh, uh washing cleaning agents uh sanitizers perfumes glue uh these are the common things which can cause uh, uh chemical injuries at home and occupational can be exposure to like lime cement and uh, foreign bodies like small metallic particles all this entering the eye uh such an occupations like a plumber or electrician uh granite workers with this stone cutting work all this they are at a high risk of uh, getting exposed to uh, this kind of so foreign bodies uh next coming to uh, environmental or external factors like exposure to uh, dry heat um exposure to uh, ac uh, fan and all these uh, conditions also present with dry eyes uh, here i would also like to talk about uh, the screen time computer exposure uh, these patients do develop uh, red eyes uh, and other symptoms of uh, dryness uh, coming to the management of red eyes 
there is nothing to panic if the eye is red, but at the same time, it should not be ignored. Because as I told, redness can be because of simple conditions in the eye and some may need immediate attention. So meet your eye doctor and get uh, evaluated what is the cause for your redness and accordingly get it treated. Because the treatment modalities will change. As I told, allergies, they need treatment with some anti-allergy drops and sometimes uh, may need some anti-allergy tablets or so. Uh, certain uh, infective conditions like conjunctivitis, uh, these are contagious, so they do need uh, treatment one to reduce your symptoms and also to reduce the contagiousness so that others are also safe. And certain conditions like inflammatory conditions, uh, they need uh, anti inflammatory uh, medications in the form of drops and also some oral medications and they may also need some blood tests and evaluation to find out what is the underlying cause for this kind of inflammation in the eye. Uh, next coming is, uh, it is trauma, definitely yes. Uh, you have to meet your eye doctor and assess the severity of the trauma and accordingly get treated. Uh, chemical injuries, as I told, is an ophthalmic emergency. They do need immediate attention because some of them can be side threatening so you have to meet the doctor and get it treated appropriately and uh, like environmental external factors getting exposed to dry heat uv light all this so you can uh, do some lifestyle modifications like use some uv glasses when you're uh, outdoors and then reduce your screen time if you're a, a computer user uh, you can use some lubricating drops uh, if there are symptoms of dryness that will also keep the uh, uh, symptoms of dryness under control. Uh, another category of uh, uh, cause for red eyes is certain medications. Overuse of certain medications can also cause uh, red eyes. Uh, there is something called as rebound redness, uh, which can occur in the eye because of overuse of medications or on stopping the medication. So, as much as possible, try not to use any over the counter medications. Uh, sometimes people, uh, patients may need some preservative free medications because the eye might turn red to certain preservatives in the eye drops. So uh, to summarize, uh, if there is redness in the eye, definitely there is uh, nothing to panic about. But as I told, do not ignore the condition, uh, take the right medical advice, uh, get treated and doctors are always there to help you and help you. Thank you.